بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome all viewers so I was on my news app on my phone and I came across a Fox News article the title of this article is Cosby Show actor Jeffrey Owens spotted bagging groceries at New Jersey Trader Joe's and they have a picture of the actor um, Somebody apparently just took his picture without his permission or knowledge and uh, working at Trader Joe's. And then next to it, they have his headshot from back, I don't know, maybe the, the 80s um, when he was working as an actor on The Cosby Show. And he's very recognizable. The Cosby Show is one of the uh, most famous television shows in history. And uh, he worked on that show for many years. So, um, you know. Basically, the article talks about how there was this woman, she was shopping at Trader Joe's, she saw him working as a cashier, and she thought, you know what, that looks like the actor who was on the Cosby show. So what does she do? Does she ask him, hey, you know, by any chance, were you that actor on the Cosby show? You look just like him. And then, you know, maybe engage in a conversation. Oh, that was, that, that was you, wow. Um, so now you're working at Trader Joe's and have some sort of a conversation about it, right? What does she do? She takes a picture of him, goes home, does some research, and realizes, yeah, that's him. Okay, they had the same, the same uh, name on his name tag, and obviously it looks like the same guy. So, so then I guess she speaks to some publications, uh, particularly Fox News, um, quoted her as saying it was a shock to see him working there and looking the way he did it made me feel really bad I was like wow all those years of doing the show and you ended up as a cashier other fans would be surprised for sure as well right so you can see that her perspective of the entire situation was that she was shocked she felt bad for him okay they, they put up this picture trying to make him uh, seemingly appear to be like in a bad situation. Oh, look, he used to be this handsome actor back in the 80s, and now look, he's working at Trader Joe's. So after reading this, there was basically two main thoughts that came to my mind that I wanted to discuss. Please let me know what you think in the comments. So number one, I mean, the most obvious thing is that this to me seems like a blatant disregard for somebody's privacy. I'm not saying that what was done is illegal, but I think that as a society, this is pretty disgusting behavior. I mean, just ask yourself, would you like somebody to do this to you? I don't think anybody who was involved with taking this picture, with writing the article, with publishing it, I don't think any of them would want somebody to do that to them. I mean, they're not portraying him in a good light, and I don't see why it's anybody's business where he's working. Why is it anybody's business? He's not doing anything illegal, he's not breaking any laws, he's working at Trader Joe's. So why are people on here uh, feeling bad for him and portraying him in this way, um, seemingly without his permission at all. I mean, imagine him waking up the next day and seeing this picture of him that was taken without his knowledge and all these people saying they feel bad for him. You know, I don't, I don't think anyone would, would like that to happen to them. So I don't know why they would do it to somebody else. That's number one. And then number two are the implications of criticizing somebody for working at Trader Joe's. Especially Fox News, which is a right-leaning network. And what do you commonly hear from the right? What do you commonly hear from people on Fox News? They, they have issues with things like welfare, right? Why? Because they feel like people should pull themselves up by the bootstraps and they should work, they should get a job, you know? Um, many people on the right, they criticize having a, uh, a minimum wage and stuff like that. You know, they're, they're all about people working hard but then they'll publish an article like this criticizing this job. I mean, there are implications all over this article acting as though this sort of work is 
it's bad. You know, like you're in a low position of life if you're working at Trader Joe's as a cashier. And this, without a doubt, has had a, a horrible effect on the way that people see these sorts of jobs and the way that people approach working and finding work, okay? What did we always hear growing up, my generation? What did we always hear? We, people would always say, you need to do good in school or else you're going to end up working at McDonald's or else you're going to end up being a garbage man. And I can understand why they would say that. They, they, they have good intentions. They want to encourage you to work hard so that you can accomplish something that you might, that might be your dream job. But what they've done is they have belittled these occupations in the minds of the American people. And that's exactly what they're doing in this article. So for example, I remember when, um, when I was young, when I was fresh out of high school, I was working as a salesman at Circuit City, which was an electronics store. And basically my job was to sell people computers, cameras, and uh, things of that nature. They basically come into the store and my job would be to help them find what they need, okay? And the fact of the matter was, there are basically two reasons why I was very bad at this job. I was horrible, okay? Number one was that I was horribly trained. Basically, the way that I was trained was I sat in a room and I had to watch these videos and that was basically my training, which was, which was very bad. But more importantly than that, the reason why I did such a poor job was because I didn't find it to be a respectable occupation based on the way that these sorts of jobs were always portrayed to me, okay? It was never portrayed to me like, yeah, this sort of a job, it's very respectable. You should really try to do really well at it and you'll learn certain life skills and you're doing a, a great service to society. People are coming in, they, they need certain things in their life. They're taking their time out to, to travel there and to look for things and you can help them with that. And um, it was never portrayed to me like that. It was always like, no, the respectable positions are, obviously there's entertainment like they're doing in this article here. You know, being an actor is some uh, great profession, okay? Being a, a musician or of course, anything where you're making a lot of money, basically. Doctor, lawyer, business owner. But these sorts of jobs where you're working minimum wage or you're working, uh, you know, you're not making a lot of money, they're not seen as being very respectable. So I didn't respect the job and I basically just went there because I was trying to just get paid and I wouldn't put in that extra effort. Now if I knew then what I knew now, I would have made sure that I knew everything that was in my department. I would have memorized all of the different products, the prices, what's on sale. When people came in, I would have really taken honor in helping people because now I know how important it really is and how much you really affect people in these you know with these sorts of jobs not only when you do well at them but also when you do poorly at them I mean I've been in situations I'm sure we all have been where we maybe we're having a, a rough day there's something we really need it's really important we spend money on gas we go somewhere and we go in and people have no clue what's going on the people that work there they're giving you false information maybe you called ahead of time to see if they had something you get there they don't have it um, and it's just, it can really ruin your day. And um, I'm sure, unfortunately, I probably had a negative effect on many people that came in because I didn't respect that job because I didn't feel like anyone else respected it. And later in life, I went into that same store and I needed to get something. And I remember the salesman who worked in that department seemed to be ashamed of his job. He didn't like it, he didn't care about it. I think he felt like less of a person um, having to help people. And uh, I think this is something that's terrible. And as a result, it's, it's interesting that now the right is so set on closing the borders and they're upset about the job situation. But yeah, a lot of jobs have been given to illegals and they've been given to people in other countries because they have much more respect and appreciation for these jobs. They're willing to work for a low wage and do a good job at it and work really hard and appreciate it. So, you know, we need to take some personal responsibility for, for some of these things.
You know what I mean? So those are just basically two thoughts that I wanted to share um, after reading this article. Please tell me what you think in the comments. May Allah guide us. Allah knows best. Jazakum Allahu khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.